Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good? What about your cell phone today? Good too? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the same, the same. <laughs> yes. Okay, but the good thing is that you are present. Yes, you're with me and with the rest of the students. So welcome to the class. <laughs> Have you had dinner, guys? Have you eaten dinner? Not yet. Not yet, after the class. Yes. Good, good. I but, have, I have, I... but you have a lot of energies, right? To participate yes. and to, to give your opinions. That's very good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> very honest of you. Lucy, Lucia Margarita, welcome to the class. No driving today, right? Yesterday was difficult for you. I know. I know. <laughs> Good. It was a rainy afternoon today. Did you have rain around your house today? Uh, no. No? Really? In Zacatecoluca, you know, it rained like very, very, very hard this afternoon. Uh, this is it's, it's, uh, hot. Ah, it's hot there. Where do you live, Mar Margarita? Uh, mm. So it's hot maybe because it is raining in other places, right? That happens, you know, when it rains in other areas of the country, then our city gets super hot and kind of humid in a way, right? So anyway, that's the weather in El Salvador, right? Crazy. The weather is crazy. <laughs> Good. Let's see, I have only five students with me. We're going to wait for the others, you know, the rest of the class. They still have like three minutes to join us. So, um, well, I don't know if in the meantime, you can ask questions to me about the, the oral activity that I sent this afternoon. And also the second homework assignment that is due on Friday, Friday this week, okay? The oral evaluation is for, you know, next Monday. Yes, next Monday. And the homework assignment to this Friday, okay, at the end of this week. Ah, your dog is there, Lucy. <laughs> what, is your, what is your dog's name? Uh, my, my dog, uh, his name is Dante Rafael. Oh, Dante Rafael Clavel Moratalla. <laughs> yes. yes. Very good. Dante I, wants to learn English because he, I, is, he is around. I I have um, three dogs. Three dogs. My goodness. Uh, what breed are they? What breed? Rottweiler or Husky? What breed? No. No, uh, oh, one Chihuahua and uh -huh. one Dogo Argentino. Oh. And, and the other is Creole. Yes, Aguacatel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. But they are they are super loyal and, and you know very, very lovely. You know, yes. I have one, I have one in mind is very lovely with me, very protective. No? <laughs> Good. Claudia Daniela, welcome to the class and activate your cameras, ladies and gentlemen, please. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There you are, Claudita. Good. Now let's see. Alejandra Nicole is with us. Mariela Fernanda, the same. And Brenda Jamilet. If you are having dinner, keep the cameras off, right? But if you are ready to start with the class, right, and ready to be seen, activate the cameras, you know? Not only teacher Lisette wants to see you, but also in support, you know, coordinator. So keep the cameras on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Jose Jonathan is present now. 
Jose, welcome to the class. Thank this you, is, teacher. You're welcome. This is class number. Hmm? What number is this one? Nine. This is class number nine. Excellent. Very good. You remember, right? Okay, let me show you. It's time to start, people. It's time to begin with the lesson. I don't know if you have ideas about yesterday's class. What did we talk about yesterday? Brenda Jamilet. Come on, activate your microphone, Brenda, and tell me. What did we study yesterday? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yesterday. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. In the morning, I clean and organize my room. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The question was, what did we study yesterday? In the class, ah. you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, God. <laughs> I confused. Okay, I got confused. Uh, yesterday, uh, the physical adjective. Physical adjectives, specifically the order of the adjectives. I gave you, yes. I gave you people a key acronym. Yes, I gave you an acronym. Le di un acrónimo. I mean, uh, a key acronym, so everybody can remember the order of the adjectives. What is it, Dina? What is the acronym that I gave oh. yesterday? Osascom. Very good, Anita. Osascom. What does that stand for? What does the first O stand for? Uh huh. Let's see. Oh, delicious. The, uh, delicious. No, 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 no. Listen. I have O. Yeah. Sas com, right? But the letter O stands for uh, something very specific. What is it? What opinion? is opinion? Oh, opinion. Very good. Opinion. For example, beautiful, awesome, amazing, right? Sexy, wonderful. wonderful. Those are mm -hmm. opinion adjectives. Excellent. What about S? What does S stand for? Size. Size. Yeah. For example, Rosie? Tall, short. Mm -hmm. Small, right? If we're talking about an object. Excellent. What does A stand for, people? H. H. Excellent. Give me examples of H. Young. Young. Uh huh. Young. The young. opposite of young. Old. Old. Very good. Mm. Old. What about the other S? What is it? What if you say rectangular, oval, uh, round? What is that? Hello? Shape. Oh, shape. Yeah, you got it, Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. That is about shape. Yeah, when you say, for example, um straight hair you know the shape is straight right or uh, or when you say wavy or when you say for example curly right that has to do with the shape what about c c Colors. color color excellent color right blue eyes yeah um uh, Hazel eyes, olive skin, or fair skin, right? What about O? What does it stand for? Origin. 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 Yeah. 
pupusa. You know what is the origin of pupusa? Pupusa is a Salvadoran dish. Mm -hmm. Salvadoran dish, right? What about M? Material. Material. That's good. Material. You can say a pair of leather shoes. A pair of leather shoes. What is leather? The material. A plastic bag. What is plastic? The material. And it becomes an adjective, right? And the last letter, the last letter we have here is P. And P is for purpose. Okay. This, uh -huh, these adjectives normally are in ING. Like when you say, for example, a sleeping bag. Ah, what kind of bag is that one? Sleeping bag. Okay, when you go camping, you need a sleeping bag. So that was yesterday session class. Okay, now let's start with today's lesson. And today's lesson uh, has a very specific objective. And you are going to read the specific objective right now. Let me show you. I'm going to show you my. PowerPoint presentation. And is this one? Let's see. I want Lady Mariela to help me read the class objective. Go ahead, lady. Lady, lady. Okay. Unit two, my family. Class objective. At the end of the lesson, participants will be able to use information questions. Excellent. Maybe, you know, you have studied this, you know, before, but we are going to consolidate this topic today. The objective says at the end of the lesson, participants or students, if you want to call that like that, yes, will be able to use information questions, right? Information questions is the same as WH questions or open questions. This is another synonym. This is another way to call them. Okay, so what, what does that mean? That we are going to be asking for information a lot today, you know? Okay, let me show you the agenda. And I want to have a volunteer to read the agenda. Only one person, please raise your hand or say me, teacher. Here, teacher, one volunteer. Mm. Okay, go ahead, Ephraim, right? Let's <laughs> see. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, class agenda, welcome, war, war up activity, scramble sentence, class presentation, WH questions, PPT use of information questions, class production per work, wrap mm -hmm. up, showing your work okay this is you know exactly all the stages of today's session let's move to the warm-up 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 activity we are going to have a scrambled uh, sentences activity okay so in that scrambled sentences activity you are supposed to put the questions in the correct order Okay, so you have to organize them in the correct order. You have to tell me, okay? I'm going to be organizing them as you tell me. So let's see, let's start. Let me share the audio with you. And this is the one. Let's see, Mariela Fernanda, how do we order this question? Yeah, tell what me. What do you study? Ah, what? Wait, what do you study? What do you study, Mariela? Fernanda? I study English. Hey, nice. I study English. Cesar, what is this question? Order it. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live, Cesar? I live in Soyapango. In Soyapango. Nice. Okay, now let's listen to Claudia. Claudia. This is a longer question. Longer than the, than the first two. What? Claudita? What? What? What time? You know, what time? Does your... Does, okay. What time does 
the school. You get up. What time does does your get up? Uh uh. Mm -mm. Does your mom? Maha. What time does your mom get up, Claudia? I don't understand. You don't understand the question. No. What time? You know, if you have a watch, what time does your mom? Yeah, your mom, your mother, get up in the morning. Oh. 5 a.m. Ah, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy and give me the complete answer. My mom gets yeah, up okay. at 5. Mom gets up 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen to you. Sarita, number four is yours. Um... When, mm -hmm. when, when does? Aha, uh -huh. when does? You need a subject now. He go to school. Ah, very good. When does he go to school? When does he go to school? In this case, let's see. Let's imagine you have a you have a brother. When does he go to school? Sara, when does your brother go to school? He goes to school at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Or you can say he goes to school from Monday to Friday, right? From Monday okay. to Friday. Okay, nice. Thank you. Elmer Alexander, I need you to help me with this one. I try. Okay, try. Um, what why 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 do you do do only one do, do you do, have do. only one do why do okay and you need a subject Elmer. you aha uh -huh, you excellent why do you okay uh -huh. this is easy why do you like horror, horror films. Ah, why do horror. you like horror, horror films, right? Do you like horror films, by the way, Elmer? Do you like horror films? Yeah. Really? What is your favorite? Uh, I was I was a chill, uh, chill play. Mm. But do you have a favorite film? A favorite movie, horror movie? Yeah, Chucky. <gasps> yeah, Chills ah, Play. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I don't like horror films, actually, you know. I prefer the the comedy ones, you know. They are they are even I mean more entertaining for me because my mind later plays different, you know, tricks to me, and I don't like it. <laughs> But anyway, thank you. Thank you anyway, uh, Elmer. Let's see. Now, Anna, Anita, this is yours. Where? Where? Okay. Does she uh -huh. play volleyball? Where does she play volleyball? Do you play volleyball, Anna? No, I no? know. Have you, have you ever played volleyball in your life? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was, I, I was in high school. In high school, I like volleyball. You know, it's a very mm -hmm. nice sport, but not very popular in El Salvador. Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you so much. Now let's listen to another person, Ruby. What do you do? Uh -huh. No, what do you? Ah, what do you? What do you? Uh -huh. Eat, eat for dinner. Aha! For dinner. What do you eat for dinner, Ruby? Um, Tamales, enchiladas. 
tacos. Burritos, tacos. Oh, tacos. Nice. Nice. What about this one? This is the last one. And I want you, Rocio, to help me order this question. Where does... Where does... Um, your sister work? Aha. Uh -huh. Where does your sister work? You don't have a sister, right, Rosie? No. <laughs> you have only brother. I, I remember brother. that you have many. So tell me, yes. where does one of your brothers work? Where? Uh, he works in, in the bank. He works in a bank. Uh -huh. So yes. is, is he a teller or or the the administrator or the manager? Or what is the, the position he has? Uh, he is um, dry. Right car? He's the driver. Uh, uh -huh, the driver. Yes. Ah, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's continue. You know, what you have in that activity was, you know, specifically information questions. Why do we call them information questions? Because what you need to give or to provide the person who asks is that information you know if a person says to you what is your name or what's your name what are you going to give information in this case you're not gonna say what's your name yes i am no you have to give information you, you can say oh my name is brenda my name is jonathan well my name is lisette so you give information and the information depends you know, on the speaker, right? Not everybody's going to answer the same, right? So in this activity, I need you guys to help me complete these questions with the correct WH word. These are the WH words that we can find in, a, in an information question. Words that start with a WH, including the word how, okay? How, what, when, where, which, who, who's and why so in the number one take a look at the answer francisco javier what is the answer here because it's delicious so tell me please the word that completes this question in the best way i think uh, why why do you like pizza? excellent why why? Because you have the word because, right? All the time yeah. you are asked with a question that begins with why, the person is expecting you to give a reason, right? You give a reason and the reason is given by using the word because, okay? And in a very, very formal context, you can use also the word for, okay? Why do you like pizza? For, it's delicious and it would be great too. Okay, but the most common or the most popular is the word because, right? Thank you very much, Frank. Now, Jose Jonathan, what about question number two? What do you think is the beginning of that question? Check the, the answer you have next to it. Copen is this. Who? Who? This one? Who? Uh... Like this. Wait, who? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> no, uh, teacher, I don't know. No sé cómo escribe, pero es de quién, who. I don't ah, remember. you have it here, eh, Jose Jonathan. Who? Look, it's in pen. Oh, okay. Who's? Yes? Who's? Who's? Who's okay. pen is this? Who's pen is this? So you say, I think it's John's pen. Who's very good. You had the answer. You had the answer. I know that you are very smart. Number three. Who wants to? Lucy maybe wants to complete number three. I try. Okay, go ahead. Um, when? When did you get here? Look at the answer, Lucy. I took a cab. What is cab? Cab is taxi. Okay. Taxi. Uh -huh. It's a taxi. So if you say, uh, what did you get here? I took a, a cab. Is 
the answer like 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 you know matching the question in this case what is the word that you said what goes here I... you have these options lucy how what when where which who who's and why i when when okay lucy when? says that here is when when did you get here i took a cab anika is shocking her head so anna i think you have the answer i think who who like this teacher is where where uh no <laughs> let me tell you that is not brenda oh. Oh. How? 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 excellent excellent you know how look at this how did you get here ah i took a taxi how is asking the way you got to the place you know how did you get here how do you go to work Ah, I go to work by car, right? I go to work by bus, right? I go to work by foot. So it's how, you know, the manner, the way. So number four. Let's see number four. Dina, maybe you can help me with the number four. I think... What? Okay. Uh -huh. And what is the answer, Dina? I prefer the apple on the left. What of this? Okay. Dina says that here we need to use the word what. What of these apples do you prefer? Hmm. What do you think, Rocio? Is it okay? What Dina offered? What of these apples do you prefer? Uh, of which? Uh, that that one sounds more you know more uh, precise and, and more like suitable for this which of these apples do you prefer because you are giving a choice okay you are offering you know uh, uh, uh the person to choose that's why you use which what is more general you know it's when you have like tons of options or more options than only two right number five what is number five people anyone from the class maybe uh, the ones who haven't participated number five what ah, this one is what excellent what are you eating the answer says i'm eating sushi right what about six Six people. Where? When? When? Ah, when? It, it is asking about the time. Look at the answer. I arrived 20 minutes ago. When did you get here? Right? You can say, when did the, did the class start? Ah, it started at, se at 6 p.m., right? Number seven. What's number seven, class? Who was? Ah, ah, who? Who, wait, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my friend. I'm talking to the teacher. Yes, I'm talking to my boyfriend. I'm talking to my, what? My my cousin, right? I'm talking to my boss. Number eight, the last one. Where? 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 where. where. Finally, we have the word where, which is used, you know, when asking about the place, right? So where are you going? I'm going home. Where are you going? I'm going to the university. Where are you going? I'm going to the beach. Where are you going? I'm going on vacation. You know, it is asking about the place, right? So I'm going to take a picture, people, of this one, of this exercise, because I guess it, it would be great if you have it um on whatsapp okay whatsapp group but i will uh, send it to you right now just in case you know you need it later for further explanations or or support 
Now let me show you this second presentation that it's going to provide you with more options with the WH questions. WH questions is the same as saying information questions, the same. Information questions, WH questions, or what? Open questions refer to this, the same words, who, what, when, which, where, how, and why, plus others, other combinations. For example, how much, how many, how old, how tall, yes? Like that. So let's take a look at who. Who, Elmer, read here, please. Read what you have here. Okay. Who is used to ask about people? Thank you. Who is used to ask about people? So if you are intended to know the subject or the doer of the action, then you have to start the question with who. And I'm going to give you some examples. Who is he? Ah, he's my teacher. Who is your mom? Ah, my mom is uh, the person standing next to the word. I mean, to the to the wall or to the uh, the board or to the to the swimming pool, right? So, who is for people? Examples. Who are you? You can say, I am Elmer. I am Anna. I am Fatima. Right? Who are you? Who is? he or who is she who is your best friend who is calling who wants some ice cream who asked the question who is faster or who is the most beautiful all these questions want to know the subject okay that's why it, they begin with who all right so what about what 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 is used to ask about things, okay? Things, for example, what is that? <gasps> it's a pencil, okay? What is it? Um, What day is it, right? What is the weather like? What do you want to eat? What are you doing? What time is it? What do you do? What does your father do? All these questions are asking for things. Now uh, we have the word when. When is used to ask about the time, right? It can be a day, it can be a clock time, right? It can be a year, a month, a century, etc. You know, when does class start? It starts at three o'clock, right? When is your birthday, for example? I am asking you about the time. When is the field trip? When does the movie start? When does the train arrive? When do you do your homework? Oh, teacher, I do my homework in the afternoon, right? I do my, my homework in the in the mornings. I do my homework during the class, right? Etc. When are you free? I'm free on Fridays. I'm free on the weekends, etc. When were you born? I was born in um in the 2000s, teacher, right? When is their anniversary? And when does the class finish? The class finishes at 7.30, right? So all these questions are asking about time, you know, time. And then we have the word where. Where is used to talk or to ask about the place, right? Then you say, where are my books? They're on the desk. The desk is the place, right? Let me give you more examples. Where is my pencil case? Where are my glasses? Where is the post office? Where are you from? Where is she or he from? Where are they from? Where do you work? Where do you want to go? And where is Canada on the map, right? So all of them are asking for the place, you know, the specific place. Okay, then we have the word why. Why is used to ask about a reason. 
No? So all the time you have to answer with the word because. Why are you so happy? Because I love English class, right? Um, why are you sad? Because I don't like English class. <laughs> why are you crying? Because I don't like English class. No, right? You like English class. <laughs> why are you laughing? Oh, because the teacher is crazy. Why are you late? Oh, because I'm hungry and I wanted to eat something. Why was Chris not at school yesterday? Ah, oh, because he went to to a trip, right? Why are you running? Oh, because I want to lose weight for December, right? Why do people exercise? Because they want to look great, right? Etc. So all of them are about reasons, right? Asking about reasons. And then we have which. Which, people, it's about a choice, you know? A choice. You have to choose uh, between two options or three or four maximum, okay? So you have here, which one do you want? What is the choice here? There are two, two popsicles, right? Hay dos paletas. There are two popsicles, right? And the person says, which one do you want? And the person says, I want the red one. Yes, so you have only... Two options there, right? Okay, more examples. Which one do you prefer? Which teacher do you like the most? Maybe you can say, ah, oh, the previous one, right? This one, mm -mm. Why of my books, I mean, which of my books would you like to borrow? Which one is it? Which way is it to the library? And which restaurant shall we go to? How? How, guys, should uh, include other combinations? For example, how old, right? And they, these questions are, you know, used to ask about the way something is done or the condition of something or the degree of something. Example, how was your vacation? And then you answer, ah, it was great. Yeah, so it, it is asking about uh, the way, you know, about the vacation. Let's see here. How old are you? How are you? How tall is he? How big is the house? How far is the restaurant? How tall, you know, is your is your your father? How can I improve my English? How do you cook spaghetti? How often do you exercise? So, how maybe and and it's usually combined with other words, you know, depending on what you want to know. Okay, now. Having said that, there is a quiz that I need you to complete right now. So everybody activate microphones and tell me, how do we complete this question? Your options are at the bottom. Where? 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 Ah, where is my pencil? Let's see if it is okay. Yeah. So the answer is under the chair, teacher. Now, what about this one? Lady Mariela. Who, who, who. Ah, who? Who is who? she? And what is the answer? She is my, my, my sister. Nice. Good. Number three. What do you want? Ah, do what you want? do you want to eat? Uh huh. What do you want to eat? I want some I want pizza. Some. I want a hamburger. I want four pupusas. I want uh, some tacos. I want uh, scrambled eggs, right? What about this one? Four. When? Uh -huh, when? Very good. When does the movie start? It starts in five minutes, right? Number five. Why? 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 Uh -huh. Why are you crying? Because the story is so sad. Oh, because my boyfriend broke up with me. Oh, because I, I don't know how to solve this exercise in English. You know, reasons, right? What about number six? Um, 
Pau. Ah, ah, yeah. Oh, how was the food? <gasps> it was delicious. Oh, it was awful. Ugh. It was uh, not so good, right? So, how? Excellent. Seven. Which? 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 Choice. Which one do you want? Chocolate or vanilla ice cream? And then the person says, chocolate, please. Chocolate. Ha, huh. Brenda, which one do you want? Chocolate or vanilla ice cream? What is your favorite flavor? Uh, my favorite is chocolate. Chocolate, oh. Yes, I, I like it. You like it, okay, that's okay. good. I prefer, you know, um, strawberry ice cream, yes. More than chocolate, but chocolate is still delicious. Now, Fatima, Susana, how do you complete this question? This is only for you. Where? Fatima where says where. Aha, uh -huh. and where is the, the correct option? Where is the bank? Oh, direction, right? Go straight and turn left, right? Go straight and turn left. Excellent. And here, everybody? When? Ah, when is your birthday? It's February 15th. Rocio, when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is um, April 19th. It's on April 19th. Very good. What about Anna's birthday? Uh, my, bed, my birthday is November 22. On November 22nd. 22nd. Ordinal, uh -huh. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Very good. It is coming next week. Yeah. We are going to be celebrating Anna's <laughs> birthday next week. Very good. An, an online you. party, right? Good. What about this one? Guys, how do you complete this question? Why? Uh -huh. Why? Why are you late? Oh, because I missed the bus, right? Oh, because I, my alarm didn't, didn't go off, right? My alarm. Good job. Good job, people. Excellent. Thank you very much. I will send this presentation to WhatsApp, okay? Just in case you want to practice and to have more, uh, more chances to, to study this um, carefully, okay? So let's now continue with the other activities for this class. Okay, let's match. Having the explanation that I showed you before, tell me, how do we match these question words uh, with the letters here on the right? Uh, number one or letter A? Number one is letter A. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Letter E. Letter E. Ah, a reason. Very good. Why? A reason. Uh, number two? Uh, a time. So it's day it's or letter? Two. Uh, ah, G, right? G. A time, a day, or a year. What about where? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. D. 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 D, right? A place. What about how? A reason? Oh, no, no, no. How? Oh, a a person? How? A person? No. 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 Letter F. F. A thing or activity. Uh, no, my friends. <laughs> B? B. Hey, teacher. B, teacher. No, C, teacher. Uh, this is not lottery. Come on, guys. Come on. So let's move to the other. Which? Let's move yeah. to which? Letter H. Uh -huh. This is letter A, right? A choice. Excellent. Now, who? Letter C. Letter C. This is a person. Okay, very good. Who's? 
the owner. The owner, very good. Beautiful. And what about what? Letter A. Uh, uh -huh. So, how? A method of manner. Ah, yes, teacher. A method or manner. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the way you have to do it, right? Why? A reason. Where? A place. When? A time, day, or year. How? The method or manner. Which a choice. Who a person, who's the owner, and what a thing or activity. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, your contributions, and your comments. Now let's move. And you are going to answer these questions in pairs. You know, you have to take the quiz. This is about giving answers, you know, related to general knowledge, right? Who eats pasta and pizza as a national dish? What are you going to do with these questions? You are going to go to breakout rooms to give the answer of these questions, okay? So I'm going to make the breakout rooms right now. You are going to answer the questions based on your general knowledge. All right, and uh, I'm going to make nine, nine uh, rooms for you to work in pairs and two are working in, in groups of three. Okay, there you go. Go ahead, people. Hello. Okay. Hey, you ask me. Hello. 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 It's from Japan. It's from Japan. Okay, what yes. is what what is the hi tiene una flechita y no veo qué letra es. Uh, it's H. What is H. the highest mountain H. in the world? Mountain. Ah, uh, sería la montaña más alta, ¿verdad? It's yeah. the Okay, la otra es, what is the highest mountain in the world? Uh, the highest mountain, Everest, the, yes. The Everest mountain. Mountain, Everest. Uh -huh, mountain, Everest. How do people yeah. make bread? I don't remember mm -hmm. the name. 
favorita. Um, panadero. <ríe> uh, sería bakery. No. The sushi from is Japan. Or Korea. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. The, next, uh, the next question. Three. What? How do people make bread? Uh, I think how do people make bread? Give me one second, please. Okay. Uh, 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 I believe, <laughs> believe you. I think I start. Journalists. Question C. You? Yes. Okay. Question, please. If if you want, uh, I will. I will do the question for you. Yeah. Little seat question. <laughs> question six. Um, people in mess is easy. Um. It makes very fast. Lady is lady. Uh, we can in different parts of uh, country. Um, lady. More. Oh, ya no salimos. No, no. Um, because it's more easy um, for sent and re receive the information. Yes, the letter is difficult because um, uh, I need to write. Right. Then send the person. Um, letter number seven. Home is called the White House. Oh. Um, the is <sighs> called. <sighs> Vamos. La Casa Blanca. Eh, the house um, is called the house for president of United States. United States. Yeah.
Okay, let's see, Hello. ladies and gentlemen, what you what you got through the exercise. Question number one: Who eats pasta and pizza as a national dish? Anybody? Anyone who wants? Uh -huh. Italian, people. Italian people. Excellent. That's the answer. That's, don't tell me I a Salvador teacher. Salvador, no, because the national dish in El Salvador is not pizza or, or pasta. Okay, that is for Italian. Excellent. Number two, where does sushi come from? I am from Japan. I am from Japan or it is from China. Japan? It is Japan. It is from Japan, right? It is from Japan. No, China, no? From Japan. Very good. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> what is the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest. Okay, you can say Mount, Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Uh -huh. Or oh, Everest Mountain. Okay, and that's the answer. That's the highest mountain in the world. Number four, how do people make bread? This was a difficult question for some of you. Some of you were saying, some of you were saying, el panadero. No, 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 that's not the question, okay? How uh, is the question? How do como? people make bread? Papa, um, super maker ingredients. Ah, uh, with the ingredients. Preparation. Uh -huh. uh, flour, figo, and on, levadura, salt, water. Uh -huh. In addition, <laughs> okay. Uh, five cell ingredients. The ingredients. Yeah, and the ingredients. The ingredients. How do you say uh, or no English? Oven. Open. The oven. Yeah, open, open um, 45 minutes. Ah, for 45 minutes, uh huh? And yeah. it's ready. Okay, see. Okay. It's delicious, hot bread. Uh huh. Very good, Fatima. Fatima mentioned the ingredients. Fatima mentioned the process, right? The procedure to make bread and also the time that it needs to be in the oven to be ready. Nice, you know. Number five, what do journalists do? Carlos Cesar, what do journalists do? Uh, well, um, I think that journalists is uh, make uh, interviews, uh, do inter investigations, uh -huh. and write news. That's exactly what they do. They report news, right? They investigate, oh. they create the questions, and if they have to give a written report, they write it, right? They write articles or they report on TV, right? The news. Very good, Cesar. Nice. Number six, why do most people send emails and not letters? Because it is more fast. Because it is faster. Uh -huh, faster. Rocio, because it is faster. Mm -hmm. Emails now, you know, uh, get to the to the other person in a split of a second, like this, right? And what about the letters? Ooh, it takes yes. days for them to mm -hmm. arrive to the destination. And with the emails, no problem. If you have a good internet, mm -hmm. no problem, my friends, in a second. They are on the other side of the world, right? That's the, the best answer, right? Because they are faster. Number seven, whose home is called the White House? Mr. President Theodore Husker. Mm, very good. Oh, Biden. By, you know, that is Biden's house now because he is now the president, right? But excellent. The president of the United States, you know, is uh, the white, you know, house right now. 
Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I appreciate your contributions and I love that you had a great time providing your answers, right? So now let's move to the practice, more practice, okay? You will complete um, a worksheet right now. So let me change here. Um, the presentation, this is the one. Look, WH questions, present simple. Okay, this is the one. What are you supposed to do here? You have to write the question according to the answer. What do you think you have to write here? What kind of question do you think you need? If you take a look at this information. When? When, okay, let's see. When what? You are going to dictate to me um, and I write what you tell me. When? Do you? When do you? But listen, you have Mike and Jake. Uh, Mike and Jake. Mike and Jake. Do you need an auxiliary there, by the way? Yeah. When, when Mike, Mike and Jake, that's for Mike and Jake is to you know two people, so no, no that's no, do today. Do. Uh -huh. When do Mike and Jake and Jay, uh -huh. play soccer? Play soccer. Saturday. And the question mark is given. Okay, it's here. When do Mike and Jake play soccer? The answer. Mike and Jay play soccer on Saturday. Okay, now let's take a look at the second one. When? What time? What time? What time? What time? Yes. Das. Das. Jesse. Jesse. Yes. Get us on weekdays. Mm -hmm. On weekdays. I love it. I love it. Uh huh. Where, uh, I mean, what time does Jesse get up on weekdays? Excellent. Jesse get up, gets up on weekdays at 7 a.m. Oh, Jesse gets up at 7 a.m. on weekdays, right? Number three. Where? 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 Do you? Do you? Uh -huh. Where do you live? Live, right? Where do you live? Where do you live? With your family. With your family. Hmm. Where do you live with your family? I live in a big house with my family, right? Or it can be also, where do you live? As simple as that, right? I live with my family in a big house, right? Okay, four. Well, well, Luke well. goes to the cinema with friends on Tuesday evenings. Well, mm -hmm. okay. Das, excellent. When does Luke? Luke. Luke. When does Luke? Luke. Uh -huh. Go. No goes. Uh, go, go, go. Because go. you have the auxiliary, right? To the cinema. When does Luke go to the cinema? With friends. With friends. When does Luke go to the cinema? Luke goes to the cinema with friends yeah. on Tuesday evenings. Do we add with friends here in the question? Do we put with friends in the question? When does Luke go to the cinema with friends? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. If you want, teacher. Aha, number five. Adam and Donna. What? 
What do Adam and Donna and Donna have, have for breakfast? For, mm -hmm. for breakfast? Yes. What do Adam and Donna have for breakfast? Adam and Donna have cereal for breakfast. Excellent class. Next, where? number six. Carol works as a chef in a French restaurant. Where? Where? where as Carol, uh, Carol work. work. Mm -hmm. Carol works. Work. Work. Uh -huh. Without the S, right? Where does Carol work? Work. Where does Carol work? Where does Carol work? In Carol works as a chef in a French restaurant, mm -hmm. right? Nice. And number seven, I speak English with my classmates in the classroom. Who? 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 Excellent. Who? Who do you? Uh -huh. Who? Do you? Do you what? I speak, English. I speak English. Uh -huh. Who do you speak English? With okay, these kinds of questions, what well, in this case it has to end with uh, with okay. Who do you speak English with? Ah, I speak English with my classmates in the classroom. Number eight, what? Megan. What time? What time? What time? What time? Uh, does that's Megan. That's Megan. That's Megan. Start. 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 Yoga. Her yoga. Her yoga class. Aha, uh -huh. her yoga class. What time does Megan start her yoga class? Megan starts her yoga class at 8 p.m. That's amazing. Thank you very much, people. It's, you know, perfect. These questions are perfect. Now it's time for you to write, okay? I'm going to mention, I'm going to mention the WH question. Open the chat, please, Zoom chat. I'm going to mention the question word and you have to create a question as fast as you can, okay? Get ready, everybody. I need you to write a question with why, why, on the chat, Zoom chat, why. Please. No, not only why. Come on, a question, complete question. Uh, you are sad. Ah, why? Why? Let's see. You are sad. No. Why are you sad, Sarah Beatriz? You have to make an inversion between the verb and the subject. Uh, why are you sad? Why do you want to speak? To speak, Mariela Fernanda, English. Why do you want to speak English? Let's see, Lopez Giron Efraín. Why? Do you learn English? Uh huh. And the question mark, Efraín, remember the question mark. It's important. And you start the question with capital letters. Don't forget. Ah, uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sad? Yeah, Ana Rebecca, that's good. Why are you happy? Okay. Vasquez says, Why do you? Why do you happy? No, Dora. Uh -uh. Why are you happy? Remember, you, you are using an adjective here. So, auxiliary do. Uh -uh. Juarez, Elmer says, why do you break break it? Okay. Why do you break it? Uh -huh. <laughs> why do you like pizza? Yeah, that's a good question, Jose Jonathan. Because it's delicious. Why are you, are, are you work? No, do you, Rubidia? Why do you work on Sunday? Remember, the verb to be is divorced, you know, with the other verbs. They, okay. they are like Real Madrid and Barcelona. They are not together with the verb to be, okay? 
the, the action verbs are one thing and they were to be other things. So don't put them together. Okay. Um, let's see. Why do you travel to United States? Oh, that's a good question. Why do you smile? Oh, because I'm happy. <laughs> Why do you like to teach? To teach English. Because it's my true calling. Okay, wonderful. Why does she do exercise? Why do you like running? Okay, run, no, running, Francisco. Why do you like Chinese food? Hmm. Why do you want to trip? To trip, huh? What do you like? Cinema. Why do you like the cinema? Okay. Why do you take medicine? Ah, I'm sick. Why do you study English? Excellent. Okay, now a question with how, how tall? Okay, how tall? That has to be the beginning of the question. How tall? How tall? Yeah, how tall? Uh -huh, uh -huh. How tall? How tall are you? I am one meter and 60 centimeters, you can say. Yeah, how tall? How tall is your brother? Good, Efraín. Good question, but capital letter, mister. Mr. Lopez, capital letter at the beginning, okay? So the H has to be capital. How tall are, are your mother, Brenda, or is your mother? Huh? 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 How tall yes, is I your boyfriend? <laughs> How tall is she? Good. How tall are, are, you, are your best friend? Is your best friend? Okay. How tall is your father? How tall is he? Good, 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 good. Okay, now the other, the other question word has to be when, when people, when, when, when. Oh, this, when. Mr. Cubias, this is a very good question. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? I don't know, but it's super, super high. <laughs> It's a good question. Google it. Google it. Why are you free? I mean, I know. When are you free? Yeah, it's a, that's a good question. When do you go to the dentist? I go to the dentist twice a year. Uh, when did you go to the park? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh -huh. When are you going to the market? On Saturday. <laughs> During when? the weekdays, I don't have time. When do you come? Brazil. When does he go to the beach? When do you visit your family? Good question. Nice. When does he eat breakfast? When is your birthday? Oh. When does she graduate of, of college? Of the college? No, of college. Uh, when do you go in? And when do you go into the doctor? No. When do you go to the doctor? No going, uh, Francisco. When do you go to the beach? And wh what is the question mark? Jan Janita, question mark. It's important. It's important. When do you make, do your homework? No make, Elmer. Do homework. Okay, that's the collocation. Um, <laughs> Janira, the question mark. Okay, that's very good. Now let's check. Okay, next next word is. Listen, this is the last one. The last one is. What? Okay, what? So everybody writing questions with what? Oh, are you? What do you do? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What is your favorite color? Oh, what, wait, what happens? <laughs> that's good, that's good. Uh, what are you thinking? Oh, many things. Yeah. What do you like to eat? Ah, seafood is my favorite. Um, what is your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie is The, Purs the Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, what is your favorite food? I love shrimps, you know? 
garlic shrimps. <laughs> what do you eat for dinner? Rapiditas. <laughs> but not every day, okay? Not every day. Uh, what kind of books do you do you like? Oh, suspense, you know, in 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 romantic. What is your telephone? Oh. Uh, what do you uh, what do you talk no what do you talking about Sarita no what are you talking about are okay what do you eat uh -huh. what do what do you do on weekends ah Oosh. the household chores you know uh what is the most uh the most better Caesar no what is the best smartphone the best uh huh. The best is is uh It has to be a superlative adjective. Okay. What is your favorite song? Oh, my favorite song. I don't have a favorite actually. You know, it depends on my mood. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the questions. <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm not drinking anything right now. Only saliva. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um. No more questions. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. What is your favorite comedy movie? I love Adam Sandler's uh, movies. You know, he's the best for me. He's a, a fan, a funny actor, you know, very creative. So I love uh, most of his movies. But the 51st Dates, you know, it's like romantic and at the same time, a comedy. Yeah. The 51st Dates, Drew Barrymore in Adam Sandler's movie. I love it, right? No, you don't know what, what that is? <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, good job. I like it, you know? I love it. Thank you very much for your participation. Ah, now it's your turn. You have to create questions, but in pairs, you know? in pairs i need you to work together to find the question and also to discuss the questions together you and a classmate okay so you have the words you need to use in the question as the example number one is an example so you you if you see here you had the 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 words and the person has created the question so this is exactly what you have to do with number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Like this one. Where do you live, right? And then the second one, and so on. Okay? So let's go again to the breakout rooms. Again, teacher? Yes. Let's work together with a partner. Socialize. Socialize. Socializing it's fun. Okay, let's see. The same people, okay? The same people. There you go. Go, go, go to the breakout rooms. Uh, number three who do you live with uh -huh. the next uh what do you last weekend yes um which day of the week is your favorite um Um, 
something we favorite this day of the week. Okay. Well, And se le pregunto, how do you work? How do you go to work every day? I go to work uh, in the bus every day. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you go to work every day? I don't. I don't travel because I work here in my house. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the oh, other question. I'll make the question with the sentence. And question me or question to Dora. It's free. Well, in this case, uh, the first question. I I I make the first question uh, with this form. How do you go to work every day? I ask what? Or... Yeah, please. Okay. How? Um. I. How did you go? Regale el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Do your favorite. Okay. And the other, why? Why? Why, why this why? day of the week? Your favorite? No. Why? Why? El, el tú? No. Why? Why no es why do these why days do the wheat favorite? Mm. Why why do why do you favorite why why do you favorite Which, which day of, of the week your favorite does does your favorite with your favorite day of the week is which day of the week is your favorite which day of the week is your favorite it's okay. Como la primera, no sé si quedaría, how do you go to work or school every day? Uh, let me see, quiero ver. Okay, let's see. Let's see, people. Maybe some of you had problems uh, getting into the, the breakout rooms, right? Because I, I, I identify some of you here in the main room and not, not working in the breakout rooms. Uh, anyway, what do you have for number two? What question did you come up with, you and your classmate? What is question number two, class? How are you? 
How are you? No, it's not. It's not how are you? How do you? you work? Do you go to work? Ah, okay. Now let's see. How do you go to work? Wait. Do you go to work? How do you go to work? Okay, very good. That's the question. How do you go to work? Sarita, how do you go to work? By car, by bus, by bicycle, by motorcycle. I I not I don't travel for my work because I work here huh? in my home. Oh so you you are are you working in a call center or something like that? Uh sorry to check. Do you work for a call center or, or something related to? No. 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 Ah. Make names. <gasps> Acrylic names. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you work with, uh, you know, nails, right? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting job. Very creative, right? Nice. Okay. Number three. What is the question, people? Who do you live with? Excellent. Who do you live with? Who do you live with, Anna? I live with my mom, my brother, and my son. Oh, nice. Who do you live with, Brenda? I live with my parents and my siblings. Your parents and your siblings. Okay, excellent. Number four, class. What's the question you yes. created? What do you do last weekend? Okay, this is a question about the past. Okay, so what did has to be the, 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 the auxiliary, okay? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? They sisters, right? So it's the simple past. What did you do last weekend? Oh, you can tell me. Ah, I went to the beach, right? Oh. Uh, this is your favorite. Uh -huh, Hi, Sorry. Yeah. Ah, you have <laughs> it. <laughs> solo. <laughs> Good. That happens. That happens. Number five. What is question number five, class? Which day of the week? Which day of the week is your favorite? It's your favorite. Ah, uh -huh. which day of the week? Wait, 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 wait. Of the week is your favorite. Aha, uh -huh. Elmer, which day of the week is your favorite? I don't, I don't which, I don't favorite day. I don't have, I don't have a I favorite day. I don't have, mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite day because one day at a time, uh, every day has his, it is surprise. Oh, that's a nice philosophy, you know, nice life motto. Don't have a favorite day because every day surprises you with something new. Not nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Number six. What is the question, class? Why this day? Why this day of the week? Uh -huh. Why is this? Okay, the verb to be there. Why is this day your favorite? Okay, let's see. Elmer said that he doesn't have any favorite day. What about you, Ruby? Do you have a favorite day? Yes, um, Sunday, because I get up uh, late. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's a good that's a good reason. Yeah, why Sunday is your favorite day, right? Ah, uh, because I get up late. What what time do you get up on Sunday? Uh Seven thirty minutes. 
Is, is that late for you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So what is normally the time that you get up? Um, 40, 4, 30 minutes or 5 o'clock a.m. 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. So 7.30 sounds like late than that time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Number seven. What is question seven, people? Anybody from the class? Wake up. We're not going yet. So, number seven. When, when, when does uh -huh. does or do because it, it says tourists plural do. Do. Okay. when do, do. tourists uh -huh. tourists visit your country uh -huh. visit your country, visit your country. When does when does no when do tourists visit your country? What about this answer, uh, Carlos Cesar? When do tourists uh, visit uh, our country, El Salvador? Mostly, I suppose. I suppose to in summer time. Summer time. In December. In June. Or June, July, August. Oh, during uh, summertime. December. And, December. and December holidays. Yeah, they look for the holidays. Yes. If you have people, you know, living outside the country, they want to come here during the holidays to enjoy, you know, the typical things from El Salvador, right? Especially December. Yeah, the, the kind of typical celebrations we have uh, during that uh, month right and december is just around the corner my friends yeah in some days we are going to be celebrating christmas and then the new year right so it's it's nice so yeah that's true that time of the year is exactly when tourists decide to come to el salvador and, and visit right or country but these days because miss universe a yes. lot of tourists are coming yeah? yeah, and Miss Universe is this weekend, right? Saturday, so very expensive, by the way. You know, the tickets are very expensive. I guess only <laughs> white yeah. uh, color people are attending, not the regular Salvadorian uh, working class, right? Okay, let's see, guys. Thank you. That's exactly how you were supposed to create the questions. Well done. If you have the questions like this, you did a very good job. If not, correct them. Correct them because this is the way you were supposed to create them, okay? So now let's move to the last exercise. This is the last one. The last one, the last one. And the last one is going to be a listening activity, okay? Um, let's see, let's go here. I'm going to finish with, with the listening. And the listening is this one. So let's pay attention to the conversations. There are four conversations. Oh my God, the audio, the audio. Okay. And then you have to complete this exercise. You know, there are four questions you need to answer based on the listening. Ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Good. What do you do? I work at the tech company. Oh, what do you do there? I design software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I enjoy it. Conversation two. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do I pay my bill? You pay it over there. Do I need to show ID? Mm, I don't think you do. Conversation three. What do your parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do they sell? They both sell cars. They have a car dealership together. 
Do they like it? Yes, but they work long hours. Conversation four. Where do you live? I live downtown with my family. Nice. Do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Okay, let's watch again. Let's watch it again, just in case, okay? Conversation one. What do you do? I work at a tech company. Oh, what do you do there? I design software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I enjoy it. Conversation two. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do I pay my bill? You pay it over there. Do I need to show ID? Mm, I don't think you do. Conversation three. What do your parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do they sell? They both sell cars. They have a car dealership together. Do they like it? Yes, but they work long hours. Conversation four. Where do you live? I live downtown with my family. Nice. Do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Okay, that's it. That was a listening. Okay, now let's answer the questions class. Number one, what kind of company does she work? Better be computer. Computers, computer. right? What does he want to do in conversation two? What does he want to do? Pay a bill or get an ID? Pay a bill, right? Excellent. Question number three. What do her parents do? Sell cars. Sell cars, right? They, they have a car dealer. Number four. Where does she live? In a small house. Letter B, right? In a small house. Let's check the answers. And all the answers are correct, my friends. Excellent. Well done. I, I, I'll give you an, an applause to all of you. So that's the way we finish today's class. You know, we have questions, the information questions, right? And tomorrow we continue with a different topic. So thank you very much for joining me. Have a great night. Enjoy your meal if you're going to have dinner. And see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. See you. Bye.